Hi, I'm Eirik Salvesen from Oris Dental in Norway. I'll share some experience from the COVID-19 situation in Norway. Having patients back at the office at reopening also required specific procedures. We focused on three contacts that needed to be limited. It's one, it's the contact between patients and patients. Two, it's the contact between uh, staff and staff. And three, it's the contact between patients and staff. Regarding point one, patients are spread out through the day. We are expanding our opening hours to make sure we, that we don't have too much patients at one time, either outside the office, in the waiting area, or in the hallway, um, walking back and forth from the, from the treatment rooms. Limiting the contact between staff and staff was done by, again, expanding the opening hours, having some teams working morning, some te teams are working at evenings. We are also making sure that within the clinic, no unnecessary social contact between the teams are performed. We're having lunch at different times. We always keep the social distance between each of these teams. And even in, in normal walking around in the clinic, all our staff will be wearing their personal protection equipment. To keep our, safe, uh, our staff safe, we needed to implement the normal use of different personal protection equipment. From, hat, from hats, to face masks, to face shields, they're all worn all the time in the clinic, even from picking up the patient at the waiting area, and then they're kept on till we return the patient to outside of the clinic. In addition, we chose to implement the respiratory masks in all procedures that we're doing with aerosols. These masks are not easy to get at the market nowadays, but they really showed out to be valuable for our staff because they feel safe in all the procedures. It also means that we don't have to limit too much of the procedures that we planned because everybody feels safe from the staff to the patients to the whole office as a part of this. Before we start any procedure, like even before we do x-rays, the patients will be using a Maltrans. The Maltrans is a one-to-one -one combination of chlorhexidin and hydrogen peroxide. This one is rinsed in one minute before we even do an x-ray. This is to reduce the potential of vir viruses and also bacteria in the aerosol when we are performing aerosol generating procedures. If possible, we're always using a rubber gun. We're always using four-handed techniques. That means that we have a high volume evacuator from the assistant at all procedures. Another thing that we implemented was after a procedure where we did any kind of aerosol generating treatment, we leave the room empty for 35 minutes after this treatment. Treat the same amount of patients and still keeping the safety of the staff and the patients at the highest level, we needed to expand the opening hours on many of our offices. Traditionally, an office would be open from 8 to 4. As we did the adjustments, we now started doing 8 to 8. We classically will have shifts working from 8 to 2 and the second shift working from 2 to 8.